So we are going to now talk about allogenic bone marrow transplant and for whatever reason if your patient needs an allogenic bone marrow transplant whether sickle cell disease, bone marrow failure, leukemia, thalassemia, primary immunodeficiency, you will be faced with a jargon of terminology. Somebody will say match sibling donor transplant, one will be match unrelated donor transplant and the other will be haploidentical transplant. I'll try to clear everything for you. Now match sibling means sibling means brother or sister in the family of the same parents please understand it so brother and sister of the same parents we do the HLA testing and if they are 10 out of 10 or 12 out of 10 we call the match sibling donor transplant that's the most old transplant we have the maximum data and they have good outcomes if you do not have a sibling which is matched or you are the only sibling in the family then we can send your HLA across the globe into the different donor registries and we can search whether your HLA is matching with anybody in the United States or Germany or UK or India or China, anywhere. If you are lucky to have it, we call it matched because your HLA is matching, unrelated because now the donor is not related to your family and donor because he's donating. So match unrelated donor transplant, which your doctor might call it mud transplant. It takes around two to three months to arrange for this. The third one is haploidentical donor transplant. Now, most of the time, match sibling, if it is not there, only 15 to 20% extra chances are there that you will find a donor into some national or international registry. The only option left is a haploidentical between 50%. So when a baby is born, 50% HLA comes from father, 50% HLA comes from mother. So you are at least 50% match with your parents. There are very rare chances when you will not be at least 50% match with either of the parent. So we can do a 50% mesh transplant from your parents and we call it haploidentical bone marrow transplant. This is of two type. One type is T replete that is invented by John Hopkins and there is a different mechanism through Chinese do it. And the other way of doing it T cell depleted donor transplant which we commonly called as uh, TCR alpha beta and B cell depleted donor transplant. So I hope now you understand match sibling, mud and haploidentical donor transplant. They all have almost equal, I'll still say, match sibling has got the best outcome data. Rest all to me are same, but primarily depends on to the type of disease. I hope this helps you. Have a great day. Thank you.